This dog sat all alone outside Target. Then people looked closer at the sign around his neck. If the passerby had heard stories of abandoned dogs before, they probably made some assumptions when they first saw him. He looked so lonely sitting outside the store all by himself. The dog with the sign was Jackson, who originally made the news and became a star of Altoona, Pennsylvania in 2011. Well, his story has resurfaced again, and it's just as amazing this time around. And if you were in Altoona in 2011, you may have caught sight of Jackson and initially felt sorry for him, especially with no owner in sight. Just as many people have previously, you may even have approached him to see whether he was okay. Furthermore, if you had gotten close enough, or if you'd been particularly sharp-eyed, you probably saw the sign Jackson wore, and said sign may have made animal lovers perturbed at first. Thankfully though, any worries about Jackson were unjustified. That's because he does indeed have a home, and a very good one at that. But that wasn't always the case. Just a month before his media debut, Jackson was a shelter dog. Three-year-old Jackson was adopted by Steve Moore, however, and it was Moore who had put the sign around the dog's neck. But is the man a good or bad dog owner? Well, the message attached to Jackson reveals that, despite appearances, the golden retriever hasn't been neglected. That's because the words on the sign read, Dad told me to wait here, me waiting. So anyone who stops to pet the adorable canine can be sure that he's not out by himself. In fact, Jackson became so popular that he was even the subject of a 2011 segment by WTAJ. And the Pennsylvania station's cameras revealed how Jackson garnered a lot of attention by sitting outside a Target store waiting for his daddy. Everybody wants to take him home. I just find that amazing because four weeks ago, nobody wanted him, Moore told WTAJ. In fact, the dog's discipline has impressed several people walking by the pooch. Another person is captured on film saying that Jackson's dedication was incredible, which is a good description of it. And it's even more impressive when you consider that the Golden Retriever learned his new trick in less than a month. Indeed, Moore has instead attributed Jackson's excellent behavior to pure hard work and trust rather than any insider knowledge on his owner's part. And when Moore was asked by WTAJ if it is really possible to teach an old dog new tricks, he responded, Oh, absolutely. You can train any dog. Moore added, It's all about the attitude you have and what you're willing to offer to interest the dog. As it turns out, the way to Jackson's heart is through his stomach, so Moore uses food as incentives. The result of this approach, moreover, is the excellent behavior that Jackson displays. With extra treats coming his way for good conduct, Jackson was trained to ignore distractions, including food. Furthermore, Jackson has been trained so well that he can sit near busy roads without any worry he might wander. And while that may sound dangerous, Moore is nevertheless confident in his dog's behavior. And it's perhaps not surprising that Moore trusted in Jackson, considering the character traits that Golden Retrievers typically have. They're loyal and friendly dogs, for instance, as well as being highly intelligent. Plus, it's fair to say that Golden Retriever's amiable natures have made them in demand as family pets. The breed is so common, in fact, that in 2016, it was named the third most popular type of dog in the U.S. by the American Kennel Club. As for how to train a Golden Retriever, or indeed any other breed of dog, well, Moore has suggested that positive reinforcement is the key, giving your pet a reward for doing something good. Reward your dog for the same things then, and eventually the repetition will pay off. Naturally though, it's also a bad idea to reward them when they have shown behavior of which you disapprove. Still, regardless of a dog's breed, it takes patience, trust, and hard work to train your pet. When it's done right though, the results speak for themselves, and Jackson is a definite case in point. Plus, your dedication will be given back in spades from your dog. As Moore will testify, 
I just get a real feeling of satisfaction in working with a dog and bringing out his potential. Jackson's owner told WTAJ.